forgot already. I am making uh, apple oatmeal cookies. Because we still have some apples left. And we'll see how it goes. So I have a bowl here for the dry ingredients. So I'm going to get those first. I have to cut this up at some point, but not right now. So let me get everything out. I need two cups of oats. Okay, this is a half cup measuring cup. So I need how many cups? Two cups, so I need four of these. For two cups of oats. There we go. Done. That was easy. One cup of flour. Okay. So Baker Nicole is going to get this right. One cup of flour. I don't know how to do it in the thing, so I will use a wooden spoon because I need one anyway to make it perfect. Okay, one cup of flour, done. Look at me. Okay, now half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of baking soda, which I have right here, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, perfect, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of salt. Actually a whole teaspoon because I don't have apple pie spice. So uh, I'm just going to use this half teaspoon because I have it. So one teaspoon of Brown cinnamon, which I used because I don't have apple pie. Okay, I have a quarter cup, me a quarter measuring cup, so I have to do three. Light brown sugar, three quarters of a cup. So that's this. Three. Okay. Okay. So you need half a cup of granulated sugar. Ooh. Am I going to have enough? Yeah. Thank God. Okay, and that's it in that bowl. Okay, okay, so I'm going to whisk this stuff together. Is it whisk they want me to? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to whisk this together, and then we will work on the wet ingredients. Okay, so that's whisked together. Let's set that aside. Let me clean up and then we'll re-adjourn re -adjourn to do the wet ingredients. I sure hope I have a teaspoon. 
That was half. That was a whole teaspoon. I did it. One large egg, room temp. Applesauce. So once unsweetened applesauce, unfortunately I don't have unsweetened. I just have this homemade that we just made actually. And the kids have been enjoying. It is sweetened and as you can see, it's pink. It has the cinnamon candies in it. But I gotta use what I got. Because This clearly wasn't thought through. Okay, so I need half a cup of applesauce. There you go, half a cup. I'm going in. These are gonna be some Sweet cookies. So now I need a quarter cup unsalted butter melted. So I have that here. And I believe that's everything for the wet ingredients. So now I'm going to whisk all this together. There's a little thing in the middle, so I'm getting hung up on it. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Now, I'm thinking I should put the dry inside the wet ingredients because I have to let this chill for like two hours so I feel like it'll just work better this way I don't know Okay, so now let's incorporate everything. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now... So we got that. And... I need to cut up this apple. It says half of a large apple. I'm going to do... Uh... Three quarters of this apple. So first I want to take this skin off and then let's take the skin off first. Okay, so if any canners are watching, you can save these peels and cores to make um, like an apple jelly or even an apple juice, because you have to turn these into juice before you can do a jelly. So, now I'm gonna, I cut these up, I'm gonna cut them up nice and small, because they're gonna go in the cookies. Okay, so now I have to fold these apples in. I 
And remember, there's no acid in here, so they are going to turn brown in the fridge. But it is what it is. for hitting you guys. Let me get this in because I'm running out of daylight or daytime hours. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for two hours and then take it out and shape the cookies. So go ahead and make a snack cause it's gonna be a little while. Okay, so here it is out of the fridge. I'm gonna scoop it in. And the reason why they say to refrigerate it is so it doesn't, uh, you don't wind up with a giant cookie. It doesn't spread so much. These are kind of big. And I'm just going to put them out. The apples didn't turn brown like I thought they would. So that's pretty cool. I'm just grabbing a spoonful, putting it out. Trying to keep it as even as possible. Okay, so this pan is done. It's a big pan, so other pans can't go in with it. He's going to go in. The oven's actually not preheated. But he's going to go in at 350. The temperature's 350 for 15 minutes. I'm telling you now because... My phone doesn't have much battery. I have quite a bit left. And I'm just going to keep chugging along. Actually, I'm just going to set this on the table. While I wait for the oven to preheat. And then, while that's working, I will get another pan out and fill that one with cookies. Hi guys, future me here. These cookies were a huge hit. I didn't even get to eat any. I seriously thought the kids were not going to eat it because they don't even like um, oatmeal cookies. But they loved these cookies. And they were bummed when they were all gone. Okay, so I didn't have that much left. I just got a smaller pan, slid it on there. And I'm filling up the sink because I got to wash dishes. That's what you're hearing. And that's it. We'll reconvene when the cookies are done. Okay. Ooh. Let me get them out. 